Hey guys. Um, so uh, a few days ago, I had this problem with my USB flash drive. This is a Kingston Data Traveler 100 G3 with 32 gigabyte of uh, storage. Uh, basically, it somehow got right protected, and it was uh, it was uh, th this uh, right protected attribute that I couldn't uh, delete at all. I tried like I searched. Uh, quite a lot to be quite honest in various forums and online articles and you know and I tried to find the, um, the uh, well I didn't try to find I actually found the usual solutions you know trying to format it from Windows Explorer trying to format it or delete the partition first from the disk management uh, application inside the system settings of Windows uh, I tried to format and uh, clear the read-only attributes uh, from the command prompt and using disk part. I tried to edit the registry. There's also this registry solution where you try to uh, change the key value in the HKEY local machine and storage device policies, but that didn't work. Uh, I also downloaded uh, two or three free disk partitioning and disk management utilities like um, Paragon or EaseUS, I think it's the other one that's called, but that didn't work because every single time that I tried to do anything uh, with my drive, I would get that this uh, this drive is locked or this drive is right protected and I would also get like error 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 all the freaking time but after a bit of searching I actually uh, came across this uh, forum post at uh, Tom's hardware website and many 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 thanks to this guy Sami Youssef if I uh, pronounce his name correctly uh, he basically uh, gave me the solution uh, which I followed it's a very very simple solution it should work for pretty much all USB flash drives the only requirement is that you have to um, you have to to find uh, two values let's say for your USB stick chip the VID and the PID and then trying to search the appropriate flash utility because basically uh, the problem well apparently the problem uh, with the drive was that um, the internal chipset got somehow corrupted and it needed to be reflashed and reset to factory settings uh, once again uh, to be able to use it again so basically uh, we'll just show you this very simple process uh, I, I really don't know if there's a video for this but it's one of these things that um, okay I'm, I'm using computers for the last uh, uh, 32 years and you know it's one of these problems that I wanted to um, to talk about because apparently this is quite common nowadays because okay you know USB flash drives at some point they will just well, stop working you know and uh, w especially with mine I was actually it was less it was actually a year old and um, well I almost threw it away but anyway many thanks to Sami Youssef and let me show you what you have to do so basically there are three steps the first step is to get this chip genius portable application um, I'm going to include all uh, links um, in the comment section below uh, basically if I click here I get uh, a new link and it uh, basically I get this uh, zip file on uh, media fire I just download this it's like less than 400 kilobytes so should be a, a very fast download and basically what does this thing do this is um, let me show you this is uh, okay it also comes with another two applications but I, I, I didn't use this I don't even know what they do I, I would imagine that this flashes something and this is some kind of a test but whatever what we're interested in is in this chip genius application basically this will identify uh, your USB flash drive and the chip that it uses 
and it will help us identify the two values that we need this vid and the pid these are the two uh, required values that we need so we are able to find the proper flash tool for our um, uh, USB chip for the internal chipset of the drive uh, okay so I have already inserted my uh, this is a USB 3 flash drive but I've actually inserted it into a USB 2 slot uh, on my tower it doesn't really matter anyway I'll just run this and it will immediately uh, identify uh, this is a Kingston silicon power blah 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 okay this is USB 2 but it's uh, this is a USB excuse me this is a USB 3 device working at USB 2 mode that's correct current speed is high speed blah 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 this is what we're looking for USB device and especially these two values VID equals 13FE and the PID equals 5200 these are the two values that we are trying that we need to write down and remember now we are, we are done with this application I'll just gonna leave it open going back now to the second step the second step is basically to search for the USB stick tool from this flash boot website so if i click this i get haha a russian website flashboot.ru everything is in russian but here you can see that this is the important bit sorry this is the important bit and everything is in english so you don't really care about all this the rest of this russian stuff so what do we do we search here using the vid and the pid values that we just found and if you recall correctly mine were vid of 13fe so i put here 13fe and the pid was pid 5200 so 5200 and i just press search i get a lot of different flash drives i'm i'm only interested in the kingston and the specific Kingston Data Traveler 100 G3 with 32 gigabytes. So basically, what I do, I go, go, go. There's a whole list. I'm only searching for Kingston. Here we go. Kingston uh, Data Traveler 100 G3, and it's 32 gig gigabyte. And basically, what you're looking for is this, the very last column where it says utils, and it's basically the name of the utility that you need to flash your drive. And in this case, Kingston, blah, 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 it's the formatter silicon power. So what do I do? Well, copy paste the name, open a new tab. I go to Google, I don't need this, and press enter. Google or whichever uh, search engine you like to, to use. So and usually the first or the second result are the ones that uh, we're interested in so you see download silicon power formatter version 3.7 and something else which we don't really care so i press here there's a new website uh the first time that i actually did this there was a different website but it doesn't really matter okay this is one of these weird websites with ad advert advertisements everywhere anyway you just go down 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 not this download now but one of these three links so okay so let's um, just gonna go to the last one because i can see you see i, I if, if i click here there is a media it's a mediafire.com link so i'll just click here and get transferred to a file at mediafire it's uh, almost 340 340 kilobytes i'll just download this i've obviously already downloaded it and what do i do I don't need this I have already downloaded and it's here I open it and I just run this command bear in mind and uh, I would again once again run it as administrator I'm not going to run this because I have already fixed my my flash drive but please bear in mind once you press run or you open the the application uh, it will 
uh, if I remember correctly, it will start uh, flashing your USB flash drive. And once it completes, then you will be able to uh, use uh, your flash drive again. Uh, it should, uh, since we have uh, downloaded the, um, the, the correct flash tool for our uh, flash drive, it should automatically identify it that it's already connected in one uh, on in one of the USB slots, and it should automatically start the whole process. Once it's done, uh, for me, I think it took one or two minutes, but doesn't really matter. Once it's done, you will be. It, it should be best to um, eject it and then reconnect it to you to a USB slot and start from there and you should be able to um, well to to work with it and copy stuff and do whatever you want with it basically um, in my case it uh, flashed the USB drive and it also formatted to FAT32 or FAT32 uh, as I like to call it, and uh, but uh, okay, I'm not very fond of uh, FAT32, and I usually reformat my flash drives and my and my hard drives uh, to NTFS. Uh, but that's just me, you know. Okay, so uh, recap: number one, you get the Chip Genius Portable from this link. Number two, you use the Chip Genius Portable application to identify your VID and PID of uh, your USB flash drive. Number two, you go to the Flashboot website. Here, you put the VID, the PID, you press search, you find the specific version and the specific model of your USB flash drive, and then you try to find the utility here from the list here. You just you search the utility in Google or whichever uh, search engine you want. You download it, you run it, and that's pretty much it. That should be uh, the final solution to your problem. If this doesn't work, if the flashing doesn't work, then it's th you, there's a big chance that there's you actually have a corrupt flash drive and you know it's just a hardware failure or whatever and you will have to just throw it away or you know or if if there is a guarantee obviously you can just return it and you can get a new one or but hopefully this should be um this should be the final solution that you can use to uh correct and anyway to fix your uh, usb flash drive okay that's it from me thank you very much and until next time farewell <laughs>